ओके आएगा सो इन दिस लेक्चर विल बी सींग मोर ऑन द ऑर्गेनिज इक्वेशन सो लेट सी वॉट इज द टर्म विच वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस इन द ऑर्गेनिज इक्वेशन विच इज ई टू द पार माइनस ई अपन आर टी सो दिस इज द फ्रैक्शन ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स और द फ्रैक्शन ऑफ कोलिजन्स डेट हैव इनफ एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी टू लीड द एक्शन ओके सो दिस इज फ्रैक्शन ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स और फ्रैक्शन ऑफ कोलिजन्स ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स विच शुड टेक प्लेस डेट हैव इनफ एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी टू लीड रिएक्शन ओके नाउ लेट से वी हैव दिस रिएक्शन विच इज A2 टू प्लस बी टू कन्वर्टिंग इन टू टू मोल्स ऑफ ए बी सो दीज आर रिएक्टेंट्स एंड इट इज फॉर फाइनली फॉर्मिंग प्रोडक्ट ओके सो हाउ डज द रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस सो वी हैव ए टू सो दिस इज ए टू विच इज एक्चुअली रिएक्टिंग विथ बी टू सो वी वुड बी हैविंग बी टू समथिंग लाइक दिस and finally they react with each other and finally form a giant complex molecule something like this oops yeah okay and finally after formation they actually broke apart into two simpler molecules which are A and B attached. Okay, so resulting in two moles of AB. So this is the reactants molecules with proper orientation, how they actually collided and formed the products. So this is reactant molecules with proper orientation. which is required to form this complex and then break apart into as products with proper orientation and this is nothing but activation complex and finally after breaking apart they form products okay so in simpler way we can write that a2 reacts with b2 to form a complex and then this complex breaks apart to form products so this is what is called as a transition state okay and this is also a activation complex okay now suppose if the reactant molecules are not properly aligned that means if a and a is let's say perpendicular with bv or b2 so in other words reactant molecules are not properly aligned or oriented then this implies no product formation will take place
ओके नाउ लेट्स सी अ ग्राफ बिटवीन द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एंड द टाइम सो वी वुड हैव अ ग्राफ समथिंग लाइक दिस ड्रॉ इट नीटली यस सो दिस इज वेयर द एक्टिवेशन कॉम्प्लेक्स इज फॉर्म्ड आफ्टर वी सप्लाय इनफ एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी to get to the activation complex stage and this would be the total energy which is required and this is the energy which is possessed by the reactant molecules energy possessed by reactant molecules okay and finally we have products here so finally suppose this is the energy level of product okay so the difference between the energy level of the reactant and the energy level of product which is this is called delta h or delta e which is negative in this case indicating that the reaction reaction is and exothermic reaction is exothermic okay so delta h or delta e is the energy of products product molecule minus energy of reactant molecules so delta h or delta e is the energy of all product molecules minus energy of all reactant molecules okay and threshold energy is the activation energy or uh, plus the energy possessed by the react uh, reactant molecules threshold energy can also be called as total energy so this is total energy or threshold energy which we have drawn here i'll just show you in a second here so this is the total energy or the threshold energy okay so this is the to as total energy or threshold energy is the activation energy which is required to be provided to the reactants so that we have successfully created a activation complex which is required then to form products so activation energy plus the energy possessed by reactant molecules is the total energy possessed by reactant molecules okay so with this we come to the end of this lecture in the next lecture we will be seeing uh, endothermic reaction and the graph of the same as well so till then good luck and good bye